I was at the psychiatrist yesterday. We were talking about getting married and stuff. Guy helped me a lot. Really? Well, yeah, were you then having I, a problem? Then I was talking about my bachelor party and what Ronnie said to me. And my my, my um, psychiatrist goes, why would somebody say something so horrible? <laughs> yes, well, get Ronnie in there. Ronnie's yeah. supposedly in psychiatry. I don't know what he's doing He goes there. one day a week. That's hardly some gambles. But he probably doesn't even know what <laughs> to bring up, you know? I, I just, just said imagine. to my psychiatrist, I go, the guy's retarded. Yeah, Ronnie wouldn't say to, to his psychiatrist, you know, I was at this bachelor party, and I said these things. What's wrong with me? Oh, he thinks, he, you know. He would never think that's anything to address. Yeah, Ronnie and uh, Artie went at it at the um, on the wrap-up show mm -hmm. yesterday, and Ronnie's been bitching all morning about how Artie treated him yesterday. Really? But uh, <laughs> I got to tell you, like, like so I said to my psychiatrist, this guy gets up. I said, this guy, uh, so, supposed friend. Yeah, I go. He goes. He gets up, and he goes, uh, "What are you doing? The fuck is wrong with you? Getting married? The fuck is wrong?" Like, like, so I said, "What?" Keep so it the said, same. So I said to my psychiatrist, why would a, he, well, my psychiatrist goes, well, why would a guy say that? He goes, he must be very jealous and angry. Yeah. I said, well, Ronnie is jealous and angry. Yeah, I'd forgotten how yeah. jealous and angry he is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, yeah, I'm jealous and angry, yes. Why would you say something like, you don't know that that's a bad thing to say? Even? Dude, dude, you know, he's angry. Do you don't, seriously, answer me honestly. You don't know that's a bad thing to say? What did I say? I didn't. Do the speech. Do the speech. No, no, so, I, if, I, you got I, the no, if he's doing, I'm fucking walking. Right, I don't walk want out. any shit. Here we go. Like, <laughs> Motherfucker! What are you doing? What are you doing? You no. dumb fuck! You want to talk to You're me? You're an talk asshole. To me. You're gonna have that asshole do this shit for me. Forget. Oh, it. I've known you 23 years. Let's keep things the same. That's a lovely girl. But I, what are you doing? <laughs> the fuck are you getting married he's for? He's doing the best. He's doing the yeah, best. Yeah, you got Betsy Lovely Girl. Betsy Lovely, lovely girl. girl. What the fuck are you getting married for? What are you crazy? I got married. Stay the same. <laughs> Let's <laughs> fuck the boys. Ricky man. Let's go. <laughs> There's the speech. <laughs> Where is he? Get back here. So in then here. he's on the wrap-up show yesterday talking about how he just wanted to have fun. And none of us know how to have fun. I go, well, gee. That's fun? Gee, that's fun listening to you scream about what an asshole what I am? What is so much fun about that to him? Fun is making other people uncomfortable. You heard the speech. Is Artie off on that? Not even a little bit. And I, you know something? <laughs> and I and I you hear what Fred said? And I love Ronnie. I really do. I think Ronnie, is, I, I think there are times... When Ronnie does do things to be funny or have fun or whatever, I'm not so sure. That's what that, he said on the wrap-up show. He's yeah, I'm not so sure that he's No, I wasn't like, trying. I didn't say I was trying to be funny. You were trying to have fun, and you're the only one who has fun. All right, listen. You had fun at my expense. Yeah, all right, fine. Whatever you say. <laughs> you don't think that's a bad speech? Yeah, okay, it was a bad speech. In retrospect. It was a bad speech. Okay, you're yeah, happy you now? About it, it was a bad speech. No, but it doesn't sound sincere. No, it was. It no, was a bad saying, speech. Do you think, would you yeah, really it was a believe bad, that? Yeah, it was horrible. Why was it horrible? It was horrible. I, I, I made an asshole out of myself. It was horrible. Oh, he's... It was horrible. Him. Nah, it's not sincere. You don't think it was yeah, horrible. Yeah, whatever. All right, thank you. Whatever. Oh, wait, well, then let's yeah. ask him the, the, the other questions. Like, why was that speech good? I didn't say it was good. I was having a good time. It, I, it was funny. You I, were I having, was having fun. Have a good time. Okay? You were having fun. But right. is there no and, other way and then to that have a fucking good time. Doug Hurwitz goes on your website and put. Well, did you ever say to me yesterday that I ruined your bachelor party? No. Okay. Why is the headline on Hurwitz's thing that I ruined his ba your bachelor party? <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't see it. Piece of shit. Wait till I see him later. <laughs> but he wasn't even there. Doug well, that's, that's why he put that up, because yeah. he's probably upset you know, that he Ronnie wasn't there. ended up at the bachelor party. No, I, know how, no I, ha I, know I know how I you. ended up Go there. Ahead. You. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been there. Why? I have no idea. Here's what happened. Ronnie, we were standing at the elevator. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Well, let me let me. We're let me standing at the elevator, going home. Right. And Ross had walked over to ask you a question, and he was standing there and asking you about this bachelor dinner, and um, Can you, we both you said and you said to him, "Is Ronnie on the list?" And he says, "Oh, of course he is." Yeah. Well, you know what it was. So Ross made the mistake. He comes up to me I'm and Ronnie in front of Ronnie. In front of Ronnie he goes, right. "Hey, we're gonna have a bachelor dinner for you." Blah, blah. And I'm saying to myself, "That's a terrible thing to bring," because I'm sure they had no intention of inviting Ronnie. Right. There you go. Because I'm not in on the guest list at all. But they're bringing it up in front of me. They said, "Would you be available for a bachelor dinner?" I said, "Yes." I said, "Well, of course you're inviting Ronnie." I mean, the guy's standing right there. I don't think he yeah, was looking for Ronnie. Position. Yeah. yeah, I think everyone knew Ronnie would be an embarrassment. Right, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. Well, they knew they were going to a nice place. Well, maybe I should stay right. home uh, when you, when your wedding is in a few weeks, okay? Okay. Maybe I if should you stay, want to. Maybe I should stay home.
Do you want I to? I think that's a good idea. Do you idea. want to stay home? Maybe me Did and Sal will go out that night. All right. Did you have yeah. other things to do? Yeah, I have other things to do. <laughs> All right. Well, then go ahead. All right. You're not, you're not planning like a, on making any like, speeches at my like, wedding. No, no. Yeah. Believe me. Believe me. Do me a favor. Try to limit the amount of alcohol at my wedding. I'll be I'll be sitting in a corner somewhere and don't even fucking talk. Will to you me. drink? Will you? Don't will even you, talk will to you, me. Will, and don't you come near me? Will you agree to have? Because I won't. I don't even want to talk to you that night. Who? <laughs> that guy He's over there. To Artie, who's the name he wants? Why is he mad at Artie? How did I get the head of security mad at me again? Yeah, head of security. Yeah. Well, what are Why you? Why don't you make a mockery of that too? Like and you to Doug Hurwitz, in all a fairness. Mockery. Yeah, and to go Doug Hurwitz, in all fairness. On the website, can you make the headline "Unwanted Guest Gives Horrible Obnoxious Speech" instead of what you you know the lie you put there? Yeah, right. <laughs> Keep writing, Benji. Put your new glasses over there, moron. Oh. And you better stop running through the halls again. Oh. <laughs> or I'll have you locked out of the building altogether. Yeah, he's throwing everybody wow. under the bus. Wow. Well. Don't peek out from behind your computer. Well, you want to hear two examples of Ronnie being a drunk asshole? No, I don't my, want to hear it. At my birthday and Bubba's wedding? I love it. Go uh, ahead. Oh, come on, Go man. Ahead. What do you have to bring that up Remind for? Remind everybody because the, some people. What, why do you have to do that? Have, they think Artie's exaggerating. Go ahead, play these. All right, here's that Ronnie. Was, that was, this is Ronnie. Oh, come on. At man. my birthday party. <laughs> Being Thanks, a, Artie. Thanks a lot. Right, no shit. This You're is like, all your fault. It would have came yeah, up, no, Ron. It wouldn't have came Ron, up. Ron, it would have no, came up. No, it wouldn't have came up. Nobody said about shit it. about it. Nobody said shit about it. Wouldn't it wouldn't have came up. Whatever. What Leave me alone. grammar over there. If I paid for a grammar school no. for you, would you go? No. Charm school. It wouldn't have no. came up. Charm school. I'm not going to any school. <laughs> I'm not going to you to charm school. school. No, I'm not going to charm <laughs> school. Miss charm school. Excuse hey, you know me, what? madame. Hey, you teach may me I have that hey, dinner teach me how to eat with a fork, too? Howard TV. I got no. the next big special. Ronnie's Charm School. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Is this the salad fork? Every yeah. week he gets his own show at charm school. You just tape him at charm school. No. They don't and have then a, we send them out no, into society. They don't have a budget anymore, that so they can't do any so other more specials. Good. It'll yeah. be like My Fair Lady. Yeah. Yeah. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane, motherfucker! <laughs> no specials this year, no more. You go to a psychiatrist now or not? Yes. Could you discuss with him why the fuck you say dumb fucking shit at parties? Yeah, okay. There's something I will. I'll going, discuss that. You're so at me. My psychiatrist goes, what the fuck? Well, this is what I'm saying. Ronnie wouldn't bring it up because Ronnie doesn't even see this as a problem. He doesn't understand how inappropriate he is. All right, we gotta fuck some girls tonight, man. I'm not. I'm not listening to this. <laughs> not listening. Get rid of these fucking wives, shit. Let's go to scores and fuck some hoes. Yeah, that was at the lighthouse. Yes. <laughs> here's uh, here's Ronnie above his wedding. <laughs> He knows how to class up a wedding, I'll tell you that. Jesus. You remember that, Fred? Holy. I, did that that first uh, speech with... Uh, with uh, That Doug. was at the Valentine party. I no, know. that was at... No, so that happened party. before the bubble wedding. Yes. Right. And he, and we probably, like, commented on his behavior at that point. Yeah, and that he, was he the end of the see, first let week me of work here. Let me, let me explain it to you. He thinks he's funny. <laughs> he really thinks he's funny. He doesn't get it. But now he's running out of the room and he won't listen to it. Lucky him. Because he's embarrassed. <laughs> you know what? If you think it's funny and you think you are funny, then just stand behind it and own right, it and say, right. you know what? I'm trying. You guys are crazy. I'm just trying to be funny. But this proves that he's, like, guilty about it. Well, him and the, the, the two of them, Artie and uh, Ronnie, started out in the wrap-up show with each other. <laughs> Listen to this. This is from yesterday's wrap-up show. Ronnie got up to make a toast. And Ronnie sort of tossed out a premise that I think he thought was going to be laughed at, and it fell flat. And then uh, a premise, <laughs> right? And then go and then go with the idea that he was yelling "fuck" a lot. And we were in a pretty classy restaurant. I think that's where he, he lost his way. We were at a great restaurant, an awesome restaurant, right? But that's I think that when you, you went with this idea, like, what are you doing? And I think you thought everybody was going to laugh, and, and no, everyone I didn't. Yeah. No, but but it's everyone. I wasn't was, trying to be a comedian, Gary. I'm just saying everybody looked at you like, well, what's that all about? What? Whatever. So he was being serious. 
then that's really bad. Yeah, now I'm confused because about five seconds ago, he said he was trying to be funny. Right. Now in this thing, he's saying he's yeah. not being funny. Well, listen. Whatever. It was a bachelor party. You're supposed to be having fun. You know, <laughs> well, obviously nobody was having fun. We were having a lot of fun. Well, well yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look like you're having a ball. I, you, Gar, I, Ron, I wasn't having fun when you put me in a headlock. And I we, didn't put you in a headlock. Yes, you did. I did not. I, I went like this to you, man. What's going what? on? What's, What's going, going on? on? You know what it is? Ronnie's used to hanging out with a different crowd. I and, guess. You know. I was I was having fun actually. Yeah, we, I was having a great time until his speech. I, apparently, he looked around and he thought nobody was having fun. So yeah. on the Ronnie scale, right? If nobody he, was having. No fun. one was having fun because no one was so, screaming. So, fuck. Was so pe- when people nobody were talking, was drunk and screaming obscenities in the uh, middle of a restaurant. Fun means being retarded. I guess. It, and, and Richie <laughs> leans over to me and he goes, "What's with him?" He goes. Ten tables are going to leave. He's yelling out, fuck, in the middle of my restaurant. This, that, Nobu is like like one of the most expensive restaurants in the yeah, city. Yeah, You know, it's like one of the most classy joints. And I've never heard anybody screaming in there. Fuck. No, no that happens at Applebee's. <laughs> Chris Rock was offended. <laughs> TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays. He no, thinks that, he's at a TGI Fridays. That doesn't even happen at Applebee's. That happens at cockfights. Right, right, right. <laughs> Bring me more fluke, motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck you. Bring me more jalapeno poppers. <laughs> Ronnie, were you just trying to like get the party going, that kind of thing? I wasn't trying to do it. First of all, th- shouldn't you have been working that night? Why weren't you no. working? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I... Because you were getting drunk with us. There was some fat... Like, you know, high school couple with acne without a ride home in front of a gym well, in West Iceland. What can I tell you? What can I tell you, man? I'm sorry. We're the bitter don't sober fucking, Artie. Don't fucking invite me again, okay, Artie? Oh, did I invite you to Howard's bachelor party? No. Well, fuck you, I then. thought it was a weird the invite. What's your problem? So do you think you're getting picked on? Unfair? Angry. Un- angry man! Are you, Fun. Are, are you getting singled out? You used on to be f- happy. You're not angry. I'm, now you're angry. I'm very happy. You're not happy. I'm the happiest guy alive. I'm going to go home and not do heroin. Yeah. Well, hey. Good. <laughs> Ronnie feels singled out. Here's another clip. But listen to that exchange. I said, did I invite you to... He goes, don't invite me next time, Artie. I said, did I invite you to (laughs) Howard's bachelor party? And he goes, well, fuck you then. What is that? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Just lashing out. You're trying to make sense out of this? (laughs) It's like, well, I'm not in charge of inviting you. Well, fuck you for not inviting me. But how would I invite you? I I'm not trying to make sense of it, Ron, but it's making even less sense than normal. It's like like fighting in a mental institute. (laughs) I'm saying he's he he fights like a retard. He's just lashing out. Ronnie feels singled out. Okay, listen to this clip. Do you feel like you're being singled out here? Of course, as always. Why? Ron, you were acting it's, like a jerk. Off. It's a just great, to admit it. It's a great topic. It's 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 airtime. It's true. Artie, Artie can make fun of me. Howard can make fun of me. I'm the big asshole at the Dad, party. Did I say anything out of line? Your impersonation of Ronnie was dead on. Okay, that I thank say. you. Thank Freddie and I both agree. Oh, yeah, what is Freddie? No, 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 about? but we were there, Ronnie. What is Freddie? I got, no. I got no agenda Freddie doesn't you. laugh at anything. But I'm saying, I, whether it was funny or not is not the question. The way Artie did it was pretty dead on. And Freddie and I have no agenda All with right, you. All right, whatever. Whatever. Next time I'll sit there with my fucking hands folded. What is this about peer pressure? I don't remember that one. Is that a good one, Gary? <laughs> Next all, time. Peer oh, good. <laughs> Who was applying the peer pressure to go out afterwards at Howard? Oh, I guess this was about that I didn't go to the strip right. club. Right. Who, who was applying the peer pressure to go out afterwards that Howard was talking about? Ha- uh, Ronnie. What? Ron, you were, there was a lot of peer pressure on your part to go to the strip club, but everybody no, was doing We were all trying to get the, the guy to go for at least one dance and yeah, no. say he went to a strip club for his bachelor party. I, I, I just, Lonnie's, a great, I been Lonnie, glad. Lonnie's a great guy, Dude. and I, I would hope that Howard one day makes it over there for Lonnie. Because I, Lonnie. I would have been glad if he went there for five minutes and to say that we, he, he spent time with us at, at a strip club. Now admit it. Because it was his bachelor party. And by the way, if we would have went over to that... Rick Strip Club. Yeah. They had the whole third floor closed off for us if oh. we did come. If we would have went over. <laughs> you got to get him to charm school. I got to get him to charm to. school. Any school. Can if you we... imagine the charm school teacher's going to lose it? How did he get out of high school? I don't think he did. They just wanted him gone. If we would have went over. <laughs> why and didn't you guys go? There was tons of funny money to well, be Why didn't you guys go then? Because nobody wanted to go. Everybody was like, got their period. Nobody they wanted all, to go. They all got their period all of a sudden. <laughs> oh my Here, Ronnie thinks Artie doesn't like him. Do you think Artie sort of has it in for you? Yeah. 
Yeah. Why is that? I what never. Makes, doesn't makes, fuck, Artie doesn't fucking like me. It's obvious. You're right. I really want the security job. I do. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> no. He just doesn't like me. You sincerely that's believe wrong. That's wrong. He wrong. That's wrong. He fucking hates me. That's I know bullshit. He does. I never bring this up. I never bring this up. It's bullshit. You, I invited you to my house and I invite you again to my house. Getting ready to throw the bottle at me. No, See? I'm not. You got it up in the air. No, I'm not. Uh, you're not fucking up as bad as Teddy did yet. <laughs> what makes you think that? Because I know you sincerely You do believe think that. Yeah, I know. Why? Because he's a delusional I'm, Yeah, idiot. I'm delusional. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> Obviously. No, he really. ain't got it up here in the head. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yes. Because any time he can, he throws me out. I do under not. The bus, I man. do not. He I fucking do. hates me. I know he does. Listen. Ron, it's all right. Sure I don't I, care. Sure, after how it retires, we'll be great friends. See? Wrap-up show. Very exciting. Wow. <laughs> they were really going on at those guys. It went on for a while. Yeah. yeah, well, he's had this thing with you for a long time. Though. Yeah, but then we patched it up. You we really think it was patched up? It, it, it culminated with his roast. Mm. And then after his roast, we made up, and we've been okay until this happened, this ugliness. Huh. I, uh, Is how? this from our website? Uh, updated. Wait, what? Updated? It's, a, it's the fastest thing I've ever seen Doug yeah, update. Alan Howard, <laughs> and now on HowardStern.com says, Unwanted guest makes horrible speech at Howard's bachelor party. <laughs> That's uh, like an onion uh, headline. Uh, 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 Already complained that Ronnie the limo driver's drunken behavior nearly ruined the party, and Howard agreed. <laughs> Ronnie gets, gets up and goes, F, man. Fuck, man. Why are you getting married, man? Why do things have to change? In response, Ronnie instructed Howard to never invite him to anything again. <laughs> and Howard shot back that it was a bachelor party. He didn't invite him to anything. <laughs> he doesn't understand even that concept. There it is, Rob. Right up there on the website. Beautiful. That's a Ronnie nice picture. Running in his underpants or whatever. With that his was. skull shirt on. Yeah, that was the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. The worst I ever saw him was his last birthday party at the place that Big John runs. Headquarters? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my own with the cake. He threw the cake all over the fucking place. He got it all over my, my jacket. He threw cake at everybody. It's See, like a that's monkey. That's the kind of party you're supposed to be having, I suppose. There was no cake throwing. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't throw any cake at Nobu. But did you say uh, Ronnie broke the microphone on the cake? Mm. Yeah. It came to the table, yeah. Oh, yeah. Top of the cake. So he was probably piece. thinking, well, now some cake throwing's going No one's having any fun. No one's breaking the cake. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, was wild. Yeah, there he is. There That's he is at his party. <laughs> in a Superman wow. outfit. In a Superman outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Jeez. Happy birthday, How Dad. Old is he? <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> How old is he? <laughs> He's 12 the there. Cake. He's in a Superman and in a outfit. Superman costume. Yeah. Good for him. All right, Ronnie. Well, see, you guys don't know how to have fun. You're we right. really don't. You wear regular clothes and nobody throws cake. And there were no naked women there either. <laughs> Ron, what's yeah. the matter, man? Go away. Come on, talk Go to away. me. Go away. Talk to me. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him. Yeah, here's your friend. This is everybody's buddy here. Talk to him. What's He's your... the best guy there is around. <laughs> He's what's the your best guy in the fucking building. What's your problem with Artie, man? He's the best guy in the building. Talk to him. Then, then he's, on, he's on the floor. They're waiting for Then why do you have a problem with him if he's the best me. guy around? I don't want to fucking talk to you. Come on. You or your boss, none of you fucking in-demand people. Uh, I love Ron. It's a good man. Ronnie. Salute. What? He doesn't hate you. Yes, he does. Of course not. He fucking hates no, he me. Doesn't. I do not. He does. I, you know what? All serious, I do not. I love Ronnie. Me and him are the same guy. We're 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 peas in a pod. I don't hate you at all. Hear that? What pod are we in?